For drawing, you must need to know how to draw basic shapes which is triangle, circle and square. Some of you are able to draw them confidently while some of you like me face difficulty while drawing these shapes. Drawing on a screen is far different from drawing on paper. You should practice drawing these shapes on a screen. If you face difficulty then you can use darts and then draw a line. This will help you draw more accurately. By the way, this is not our main topic. Our main topic is how to draw on mobile screen. The most common mistake most of the people do is they directly add details to the sketch. If you are a beginner, then this step would be frightening for you. And the second mistake is when they start drawing their sketch, they end up having incomplete sketch due to incompatible size of a sketch according to canvas. So, to overcome these problems, watch the following steps carefully. First of all, select your canvas size. Here, I'm selecting Instagram template. You will lock your canvas. Start out by drawing very, very simple shape or you can say stick man. This basically gives you the rough image that what would be the actual size of your drawing according to canvas. Where should be the position of your shapes on canvas and how you have to adjust your drawing on canvas because we have to put everything together on the canvas. So we are done with the placement of our drawing on canvas. Decrease the opacity of this layer and create a new layer. Using a stickman layer as a reference guide, start out by adding simple shapes. Don't complicate it using complex shapes. Keep it simple. What the hell? Is this a twig of tree? No, simple shape for hand. Ooh, got it. You guys must be saying that I'm creating a mess, but I have to trust the process. Now hide the trash layer, I'm sorry, I mean lower layer and decrease the opacity of upper layer. Now create a new one. Now add details, but simple details like draw a simple line for eyebrow and a line that shows the location of eye and then draw a line that represents the position and shape of lips. You can make adjustments on this new layer using lower layer as a guide. And this will help you to achieve more accurate shape. Now I find it really easy to draw shapes and also I'm able to recognize my errors and mistakes. Believe me guys, if you draw this way, you don't feel stressed and overwhelming. You are your own teacher who can judge your wrong move and fix up your weak lines. Hide the second trash layer, I mean lower layer and decrease the opacity of upper layer and create a new one. Now add more detailed shapes or you can say more refined details to simple details. I know the process is long but result would be more satisfactory because as you know slow and steady wins the race. I know you already know it just as a reminder. Okay, don't mind. You can enable lazy tool for more confident lines. Guys, have you ever thought like me that it would be so good if I added a line and it would mold it to any shape automatically? I won't. But this is reality, not a Barbie movie or a fantasy. Thing. This is real brutal world, which demands hard working. So we'll have to do with it. I'm sorry guys, I think I got too carried away. So let's get to the point. 
The point is hard working. Okay, let it go. You should just focus on the video. Add some swan feather style to her frock because this will create a sense of ballerina and swan thing. It would be so good if the song is played right over here, senorita. But I can do this due to copy I'd claim. Now let's add more refined detail to Swan. Draw a tiny cute crown on the head of Swan. This is Swan crown. Do you want this crown? Then you'll have to become Swan for this. Do you wanna be? I was just kidding. Draw your own Swan crown. Now hide the third layer and decrease the opacity of upper layer and create a new one. Now the next step is to refine outline. I am making outline more neat. Nothing is new in this step, just it is the filtering process. That's why I have shown this step quick and short. Except the top layer, paint all the lower layers into a group and then delete the group and create a new layer. Select soft taper from calligraphy folder. So the next step is to make your sketch look more catchy. For this you'll have to change the weight of your line art. I am using soft taper from calligraphy folder. But I am tracing the line art using soft taper. Using soft taper, you automatically get the change of weight of line art. Make the outline more thicker on the points where it is expressing the outer parts of the sketch. And also thicken the outline on the parts where there is a shadow. If you find it difficult to cover large area, then you can use path tool. And we are done with it. You can see the difference. Now create a layer and arrange it to the bottom. I'm going to use these shades of white and black for my sketch. You can use different shades of gray and add these shades to your sketch to make some parts more prominent and make it and make distinction between some parts. You can highlight shadow using shades of gray. Also darken the outline of hair which will make them more defined. Now select fill tool and fill color to hairs.
and also some parts of the frock. Also add dark shade to the wings of swan. And it's done!